I want to show you how to go in and grade the thought question responses that your students are doing as part of the five-step literacy routine. Now, since you're going to go through this five-step literacy routine for the articles that um, are the feature articles, if you're one of the, the standard English teachers or um, classroom teachers, or you may be searching for articles and you're still going through that five-step routine, with them on the articles that you assign to them. Either way, you're going to want to grade those thought question responses um, at least occasionally. You might want to grade them every time, but that's going to take a lot of time. So it may be something that you grade once a week or on a particular schedule. But let me show you how to find them and give the students feedback on those thought questions and then also produce a grade that you can put into your gradebook. So I went right here to the admin um, location, and this is really where you're going to go a lot to see student responses and also to um, view reports and things like that. Now my screen may look slightly different. Please remember that I'm a district-wide user, so I can see all three schools and all of our users and all that information. So your screen may look a little different than mine. You'll probably have less things that you need to select from. So we're going to go into student work. And then we need to get to the thought questions. It's in this drop-down box right here is thought questions. And you can see that there were a lot of other options you could go into as well. So I'm going to select a school, but since you probably only have one school listed, you may not have to do that. I'm not going to narrow it down by content area because I'm going to narrow it down by class. Um, to see the specific group of students that I want to see. So I don't have to do this in two separate steps. Um, I'm going to have this set on all users so I can see a big list of everybody, but you can certainly narrow this down to a specific student if you'd like to. I'm actually going to keep all these options um, broad mm -hmm. like they are, but you can um, narrow those down if you need to. So I'm going to click on View Report. Okay, so now I can see in this class, I can see every article that a student has written a thought question response to. Um, and you can see that students are doing, I know that this, this article was a featured article, um, as was New Faces in the Kitchen. But there are some in here that students are doing in addition. Okay, so there are a few articles um, that look like they've been read um, by students either on their own or a, the teacher has assigned those because there's more here than just the feature articles. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into... Um, one of the things we want to grade, so we can just choose the feature article or whatever we want. Um, this is for a specific student. Right here is the rubric. This is going to be an important um, thing for you to pull up and to base your grading on, but of course you need to make sure that the students are aware of that rubric, that you've brought that to their attention, made them look at it, um, pointed out that they need to include these things in their writing in order to get a good score. You wouldn't want to score them on something that you haven't told them that they're going to be scored on. So um, I would just bring this up and print a copy of it so I can refer to it as I'm reading the student's um, article and then I can base my points on that. So there's the rubric. Um, there's also this, same sort of thing. Include in your answer. This is available for the students when they're doing their thought question and would be a good basis for their grade but again you want to make sure that the students are looking at that and that are following that when they give their response so you know it says a specific number of paragraphs it tells them exactly what to include so I can close that now okay so here is the actual students response these are his notes this is what he wrote in um, as he was reading the article in those little th boxes you can open up under each paragraph he has written these notes. So it looks to me like he's taken some pretty decent notes on the article um, and that could certainly be something that you um, comment on or, and or give him a grade for. Here's his actual response. Um, so his, his two paragraphs and you can check to see that he's included everything in his answer and that he's following the rubric. So down here is where you can give the student feedback. Here's where you can put in the student's grade however you want to determine that. Um, and then here are, this is for bonus points. You can assign, oops, you can assign the student 5, 10, or 20 bonus points. Those are important for the student to earn some um, achievement medals and some um, 
congratulations on, on work well done and um, you can bring up more information. I'm going to show it to you here. It's the same thing. But the program has built in achievements and here's the names of them and how many bonus points they're worth. But if I go here, sorry, if I go here you can see what those achievements actually are. Um, right here it'll tell you what the name of the achievement is, how many bonus points it's worth, and what rules you need to be checking for if you're going to award them that particular achievement. So you can look through here and see if the student, um, and you want to become familiar with these so that you can give the student those achievements when they have earned them. Okay, so back here now, um, I can then type in comments for the student. You know, I can tell him, you know, if I feel like one of his paragraphs is weak or he didn't write the right number of paragraphs or he's not using complete sentences or he needs to watch his spelling. I can give all those kind of feedback items here in this box. We want to make sure this stays checked so that um, the student gets an email to receive this feedback on his writing um, with his grade, whatever achievements he's earned, and whatever comments you've put in there. Once we finish that, we can save and close, and that's going to force that email to go out to the student. Um, it's also going to, I'm going to close without saving, of course, but it's also going to get us back to this screen so that we can go to our next student. When we're completely done, we can close out of this um, as well. Maybe. Um, all right. So that's what um, you need to do to go and check those thought questions. Let me know if you have any questions for me.